This patient presented with hypotension, tachycardia, altered mental status, and a blood glucose level greater than 600. What we're looking at here is crew small respirations in a patient with severe metabolic acidosis due to DKA. The first question that came up is whether we should intubate this patient for hypoxemia, altered mental status, and tachypnea. But intubating this patient, particularly using RSI, is fraught with dangers. The patient's hyperpnea is working to create a compensatory metabolic alkalosis, driving the CO2 down and supporting that pH. By paralyzing the patient, we remove the respiratory drive, and that's going to tank the pH, leading to hemodynamic collapse. Even if we don't paralyze the patient, mechanical ventilation itself has a ton of challenges because we need to mimic the pre-intubation respiratory parameters in order to keep that CO2 low and support that pH. So instead of intubating, we reach for non-invasive ventilation. Now, typically, we don't use non-invasive ventilation in patients with severe altered mental status for the fear of vomiting and aspiration. And that's why when we apply non-invasive in a patient like this, we're not gonna leave the room. Be cautious intubating patients with severe metabolic acidosis. Removing that respiratory drive is gonna remove that compensatory respiratory alkalosis. It's gonna tank their pH and you're gonna get a clean kill.